Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If this is your first time, my name is Dalisa. Welcome, welcome. Mwah. Welcome to my channel, guys. Um, today's video is about maternity makeup. So here in my location, a lot of girls have been giving birth. I mean, every second, somebody's having a baby. Like, I am not kidding. Like, every second, somebody's having a baby. So there's a lot of photographers in the area, and there's a lot of photo shoots. Uh, we, we have amazing photo shoots here. I mean, we have good photographers. Um, I have my top favorites, and I have some of my this. Okay, okay. But um, lately, I have been asked of how to do makeup for a maternity shoot. So somebody gave me the idea that, hey, why don't you do a video? Because some people just don't want to go to a makeup artist. They prefer to do it themselves. So this is for a lot of girls that would like to learn and would like to know how to do maternity makeup. Um, I did a simple look. So yeah, let's get started. So um, I finally got the new NYX foundation. And everybody has been talking about this. It says Shake Well. Everybody has been talking about this foundation, like literally every single body. And they have been asking me, have you tried it? And honestly, I have not. So I finally found it at Boots in Cambridge. So, woo! Got to try it. I, I don't like this. So please forgive me. Every woman has that insecurity of their body. And it's really hot in here, so. Please forgive me. I'm gonna be using my favorite from Origins. I cannot say it right. Origins. I, I would say I end up saying Origins. So, and it has an orange smell. So, oh, love it. I love their eye cream. I love their moisturizer. Highly recommend it. So as you see, I already got my eyebrows done. So I'm gonna try this now. So excited. So here it says check well. Let's try it. I don't know if I need a lot or a little bit. Okay, let's try it. Okay. Hmm. So sometimes I use color corrector because here it is um red. Uh, but let's see if this foundation actually has full coverage like some people be saying. So, so far, look at that. Okay. So far, good. Let's see. Okay. I'll take it. I'll take it. Here is very hard to find foundation for me because as a Latina woman and I have a little bit of skin color on me but also here in the uk we don't get that much sun in the winter so i i go lighter so this is my winter color okay let's blend it okay it's a little yellow i think it's a lot of yellow in it but it's okay it's blending in well yeah it's blending in well now, um, I have to say this. So when I do photo shoots and I do a lot of maternity, um, not a lot of girls like cat eye. Most of the mom, because we all know that when you're pregnant, you're miserable most of the times. Um, and it's funny because you may feel like you're miserable, but you're actually glowing. You just don't feel it because you're carrying a human inside you. So it's kind of like, I have, like, like me, everybody would tell me like, oh my God, you look so beautiful pregnant. You look so glowy and, and you look so beautiful in your hair and, and whatnot. But inside, I was feeling miserable. Like, I was so angry. Like, I was just like, ugh. I, used, I was even angry at myself. Like, I was just so miserable. But sometimes a lot of these girls don't know that they're actually beautiful and glowing. They look, they look amazing and, you know. So, um, a lot of them don't want to feel like they have a lot of makeup on. So they want to feel very light and very soft and very glamour. So that's what we're doing today. We're doing very soft and glamour. Um, it's okay if you're that... I feel like you should do your makeup as your personality. So if you want like um, a cat eye, that's totally fine. You deserve to have a cat eye. But not everybody does cat eye. So um, I'm not doing cat eye today. I'm just going to go with something soft. I'm going to show you guys what I would do if I want less makeup. And I'm going to show you guys 
what a lot of people have been asking me lately. Some people, some people like um, that heavy, even though it's early in the morning, because I'm like, dude, it's like early in the morning. They want that heavy, heavy look. And I'm just like, oh my God, okay. But it's my job to make it look presentable, to, you know, turn it down, to make, to give the customer what they want, but also make it what it looks presentable and look pretty. Because you may do a smoky eye early in the morning, but it may not look right. Like, you don't want the harsh colors. Don't judge me. This is my favorite palette. Look how dirty it is. I'm always cleaning it. <laughs> I'm always cleaning it. I think I'm going to have to get another one before I move, because... I love this palette and this is my only Murphy palette that I have ever owned and I have so now a lot of maternities I use a lot of these right here a lot of these if it's a um, when it was the fall I, I use a lot of reds and yellow I combine them um, nighttime a lot of dark now, I do stay away from these colors because, like I said, it depends on the mother. It depends on the mom. Like, you know, if she wants to, like, that cut crease, they colorful. And it's okay to have that, but not everybody wants that. It's just, like, maybe, like, two or three girls and, in, 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 you know, that I get, like, every month. So, it's, like, that one or two girls that I get, like, I want the cut crease, I want color, I want glitter. And I'm just, like, that's what you're going to get. But most of the time I use these. So yeah. Another palette that I use a lot too is from this one right here. Milani. I use this one a lot. And especially for a lot of my girls that are have that ivory skin tone. I use that a lot too. Ivory. Um, it's uh, this is actually funny. <laughs> When I started doing uh, maternity and um, soft looks, I actually got this color, Satin Tube from MAC. And I started getting this color. I have been using this color, oh my God. I have been using this color for, I'm gonna say about 13 years now. It's that color that I always go back. Look at that. So I use this one very soft towards the ends right here, or the end of the eye. And then I used to mix it with rice paper. I don't have, I used to have it like this, but I saw it in this and yeah, it's right there, it's empty. So that's why I got this, cause it had rice paper in it, just because of that. These colors I really don't care for, but these are nice for like a soft color. Um, I'm gonna be using my favorite product. Look at that. So dirty. And these two right here are already gone. Right there. These two are already gone. This is only a little bit. <laughs> I'm gonna start out with something soft and I like to start with this one. Just to get me started. I like to turn it like that. And then a little dab dab. And I like to go to the crease right there. You can use Urban Decay Primer, Eye Primer. I use the one that is um, in the purple one, in the purple tube, and it's the one that's anti-aging. So I use that a lot. I'm going to use the tube, that MAC one that I really like. I really like it. And I'm gonna go here towards the end. I'm gonna go I'm gonna start on the bottom of my eyes and then I'm gonna go up towards the crease. So just building, building up. Now this color, it's very soft. It's not like a harsh color. Like, you know, like it's you have to you have to work with it. See that? So you always wanna start, like I always tell people, start from a little bit and then you start adding up. Because I have people that are like, yeah, they put a lot in there. And then you start building up. So you go down here and then up here. So start building up. I don't know if you guys can see that. Okay. And then you go to the next one. I'm going to get a little closer so you can see. Right there. 
and then kind of like like up here and then you go down there so I'm gonna go over here to the crease and then I'm gonna go down here so it's kind of like a V the rice paper the one that I really like that I, I have to get a new one um, it's similar to these right here okay and um, I'm gonna take a brush and I'm gonna show you guys see that and I swear to God this one it looks like a highlighter it's just that you can't use it so hard I just, I'm swatching so that's why it looks like that but I'm gonna show you So I'm gonna tap, tap, tap. See that? Tap. Sometimes I like to darken it a little bit in the corner. So I will go with these colors right here. It's similar to the satin. So right there. They're similar, but they're not the same color. But I will go with the dark color right here. And what I like to do is, so it won't be too much, right here in the corner, I just go like tap, 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 very soft. And then I just blend it in. And yes, I'm using the same brush that I did the, the satin. And as a military wife, I have a lot of wives that does not like makeup like that. There's a lot of them. But sometimes they'll come to me because I want to feel pretty um, for the ball. Um... Not only maternity, also like awards. I have a lot of wives that their husbands are getting awards. And also I do makeup for a lot of girls that are in uniform. So there's a dress code for uniform. So you gotta go like really soft. I'm starting to like these right here. This is Wet n Wild. I really like this one because this one is easy to apply and it's just like in and out. But I'm a crybaby. I cry for everything and it runs. Now this one on the other hand, this is a Smashbox. And that one I can cry, I can, with the cold sometimes you tear up and nothing. So, yeah. So I'll be using this one. Now, um, this is a friend of mine who gave me this. And after she gave me this, I just fell in love. This is actually my fourth one. I'm always using this. And I use this on all my clients too. And they all like it because it doesn't run. It's easy to apply. It's right there. Sometimes in the corner, I'll go like this and pretend it's kind of like a cut eye, but it's not. Okay, so it's time for contour. This been my favorite of all time. Um, it's from BH Cosmetics. And oh my God, I just love it. I just love this. Still use it to this day. Here comes the plane. With this one, with the real technique, the one is like this. This is high contour. You can use cream or powder. Some people look at me like I'm crazy because some people believe that this is only for powder. Some other people believe it's only for cream. I believe that whatever you can make it work with, that's what counts. So cream or powder. Um, and I'll be using the powder. So I like to mix them. And what I like to do is I like to hold it there. And hold it there. I like to mix them. See that? Yeah. So here it goes the same. Like that. You can do this too. A lot of people do that all the time. I actually use my concealer as my highlighter. And right now I'm so hooked to the L'Oreal one. So I have been using this on a lot. I also like the Maybelline one. But I haven't used it. So I just do this right here. And just go like that. Sometimes you can do this first and then the contour or 
just like I'm doing now. I'm doing everything like backwards. But most of the times I do this first and then the contour. But yeah, it's up to you. So you go here like this. Like that. Um, some people can go lighter. I like to mix them. This one is that number two. Right, right there. And like I said, I like to mix. I like to mix because you want it. I like my under eye to be a little bit brighter, but not too much. On my mom's to be. I like mixing colors. I think it's so fun when you're like just playing around, just mixing. And blend. You can go all the way. You can go all the way if you want. It's up to you. So for my nose, I like to go back to the BH contour palette. And give yourself a fake nose. <laughs> Um, since you have products in here, sometimes I like to go back towards the middle. See that? Yeah, there it is. I'm going to be using the Smashbox. Okay. And I'm going to go down here. Okay. And then what I do is, with a brush... Or you can use the same brush that you use for the end. You can use that brush too since it already has that color inside. Or you can get a clean one, okay? So this was one that I use. I go down here. You, if you don't want that color, if you don't want too much color, just go with a clean brush and just smush the black. It's pretty easy. So oh, I am so hooked to, um... Pretty vulgar. This one I got it from my boxy charm. And you guys, this setting powder has been amazing. It brings this little thing right here. I don't really use it much. At first, I used to use it, but I don't use it anymore. So, what I do is with the bake, when you start baking, I put it under there, and then you can go with the brush. If you have a lot of fallout, because it will help you out. So, um, the MAC one does not have fallout, so um, when I apply it, it works really well. You don't have a lot of fallout. But if you have a product that has a lot of fallout and you have to bake, just make sure you put this first. I hope you understand what I'm saying. Because some people will be like, what? <laughs> one of my, so as this one is set, I'm gonna apply the lashes. And um, these are my two favorite lashes. Now, this is the one that I do not use for, um, this is not the one that I use for maternity. I use the boudoir or, God, I think it's a little black dress. I cannot remember, but this is not the one that I use, so. So far, I use these a lot on my lot of, a lot of girls because they don't like to put like crazy eyelashes. So I use these most, and like I said to you guys, I use this brand, it's just not this lash. This one is more of my glamour one, if you want full. Sometimes what I do is I cut them too, so I can create the lash, um, but yeah. But this brand Kiss is amazing, they have tons of it. I just thought I had one left, but I guess I'm wrong, so. Short lashes. Some girls prefer just because they're not used to it and it's understandable. Nowadays, a lot of girls are using the extensions, which is nice. It's not my thing, but um, it's whatever suits you, you know? So I have my lashes on. And these actually are from a friend of mine. Um, she does Living Lashly and she has, uh, she does, um, I think she does Botox, I believe, and lashes. Ashes extensions. So yeah, check her out. Living Lashley. So I got these from her. So it's time to take this thing out of my face. 
I'm already done baking. Now I'm gonna go with blush. And <laughs> when it comes to blush, it's very challenging because I love NARS and I have a collection of NARS. I don't know if you can see it's up there. I have a big collection of NARS. And um, the names, some people may get a little bit offended, um, but that's the way they are. So that's the way NARS is. So my favorite ones is, um, I have two favorite ones, which is the Orgasm. And I like the Deep, deep Throw. Those are my favorite ones from NARS. And this is what they look like. I use these all the time. And I have a lot of blushes. And these are the ones that I use the most. Yep. They're not that. They're, there's not a big difference. They're both similar. I will be using um, the Deep Throw. And like I said to you, it's my favorite one. Deep Throw. Oh, there is me right there. I'm recording with my phone. <laughs> Um, and I'm gonna smile right there some people like to blend it in with their contour I don't I like to go very soft oh the Sun is Wow the Sun is like ee. smile to do the highlighting now this is my favorite part and I know a lot of people love this part too I love this one so much it's from Becca and I got this from a little set that came with the little tube and this one and boy oh boy oh boy oh boy this is like the one that I use a lot because it's not a highlighter that it looks like shimmer some people they like that you know like glowy stuff there um, this one is really nice so I like this brush and um, everybody, sometimes people tell me, oh, when I apply, it doesn't really look shimmery. Sometimes what you do is you wet it with your setting spray. And then you go like this. Ready? Voila! Oh, you can just dab. Dab. See it? Let's do this one. I don't know because of the light. I don't think you're going to be able to see it, but... Let's give it a try. I don't know if you can see it. Right there. I know here you can see it in my mirror. I know this, I can definitely see it. And like I always tell people, like, you always put it over here. Don't, try not to do this too much. I have a bad habit that I do, but you can tap, 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 tap. And a little bit on the nose. On top of the lip and with a tiny brush you can do the up here on top of the eyebrows right there and you can do the inner corner right there I hope you guys like it. So to finish up, I'm gonna show you guys my four top lipsticks that I use the most. Like on all the shoes, I use a lot. Like this is the one that I use the most. Um, depends of the personality. Some girls want that red lipstick. Some girls want that burgundy lipstick, and that's okay. But a lot of them just want that soft neutral color. And these are my top four. I got this lipstick right here, Mellow Nude. Um, I use this one a lot. I'm gonna show you guys right here. I use that one a lot. So this one is a Kylie Jenner uh, Savage. I used to have Angel and Boy Bye, but someone stole it. So yeah, I know. Um, right here. Savage. I use that one a lot. And Wet n Wild Rebel Rose. Yes, Rebel Rose. I use this one a lot on all skin type. 
So a lot of people love that one. That one is one that I get like, people love it a lot. And my favorite, Marc Jacobs, Slow Burn. I use this one a lot. So those are right there. My top four. I still don't know which one to choose. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. So with this look, I think this one right here. So I'm gonna go with the Kylie Jenner one. Savage. And I'm gonna go. And this, and I try not to put a lot. There you go, so I just put that. And then I go in and blend it. I like the boy bye, but they stole it. And like I said, you only need a little bit, you don't need a lot. There it goes. This is what I use on my girls that don't want a lot of makeup. They want something very soft, um, super easy to apply. Um, yeah. And you can add accessories, whatever style you're gonna go for, you can add whatever you like. Um, these are just looks that, you know, I've seen girls doing, the one with the flowers in their heads. This makes me feel like I wanna be in Hawaii. This one is really pretty. It looks like more like a bridal, which is kinda cute. I love it. This is so pretty. Or you have to accessorize and you know make it look whatever is best for you. Um, just have your own style, you know. You can, ah. yeah. You can have dream catcher. Whichever you think is pretty. I hate my head gets myself. But yeah, I think I'm gonna go with the white one. Cause they look like more like a bridal, you know what I mean? Like, I like it. And it matches with my makeup too. So, thank you guys so much for watching my video. Hit the like button. I just wanna say thank you guys so much for support. Mwah! So cute. I look cute.